We're making a capacitor from the equipment before you here. We have a foil, two strips of that are pretty wide, a little bit smaller than the paper strips. And then we have two small pieces of aluminum foil, some tape, a pen, and then the equipment to measure that. The first thing that we're going to do is place the aluminum foil on top of the paper. I've already cut it to the correct size for both strips. The next thing that we'll do is place the tabs of aluminum foil on top. This will allow us to access these larger strips later. And then we'll tape that in place. And then we'll take these two strips and place them on top of each other. The next thing we'll do is we'll take our pencil and we'll place this uh, in the center at the end and we'll tape that in place. And then the next thing that we're going to do is roll this up into a capacitor. It's very important to get this uh, tight. I uh, have good contact here and keep it straight. Once you've rolled up your capacitor, you can twist, you can get to the pencil here, and then twist your pencil in the direction so that it tightens the uh, capacitor uh, and you have better contact. Then once you have a nice good capacitor, tape it together. And now you have a capacitor. So you have two leads here to either end of the different strips. And we're going to take our capacitance meter, go up to LCR, plug in our leads. These are alligator clips. And we'll use this to measure the capacitance of our capacitor. It's selected right now to 20 nanofarads, which is a good range to look for it. We can also look at the resistance of our capacitor by hooking up a ohm meter to these two leads.